Welcome to Nanda Awaken Your Soul's Unlimited Potential. My name is Eva and as always I'm so happy to have you here with me. And today I'm going to be continuing from the video that I did the last time which was talking about the dangers of compassion. And I'm not, again, let me stress this, I'm not here to dispute that having compassion towards others is not a good thing because it is very necessary for our spiritual evolution, for us to consider other people's needs as well as our own you know none is above the other you know they all need to have happening equal balance in the fact that you cannot rescue someone else if you're not okay with yourself because otherwise you're just gonna end up drowning both of you you know if maybe you can't swim you can't jump in to save your friend who's maybe drowning because in the end both of you are going to drown but you could actually stand on the shore and call out for help which is will be more beneficial for your friend and it's the same thing that airplanes normally tell parents that in case of any turbulence put on the oxygen mask on yourself first before you save your child because your child will not be able to save you in case anything happens but you might actually be able to impact your child's well-being if you're okay within yourself okay so i'm not here to dispute compassion i just want you to have a different lens to to that and I did share a lot about it in the previous video. Today, I want to tie that, the dangers of compassion, when it comes to your Kashyuk rifles, your particular soul's blueprint. How does it get affected when you're constantly, when you're in this compassion phase? So I've noticed with some of my clients that they tend to have this blocks that I call compassionate connection. So compassionate connections are usually formed when you're constantly helping other people, either through finances, um, giving them advice, giving them our time, just basically giving our energy away constantly, maybe because we want to save this person. But in doing so, we're actually allowing this person to draw on our vital force energy through that energy, that particular connection of compassion. And what normally happens with compassion and connection, why they become compassion and connection is the fact that you're not necessarily getting any of your energy back because Here's the thing, human beings, like that's how we design, where we're constantly exchanging energies, like in most of our relationships. You could be in a partnership right now and both of you are giving each other necessary energy in the form of attention, in the form of gifts, in the form of how you guys spend your time. So there's always a balance with that. But now with the compassion and connection, you will find that you have given and given and given and you've really not received anything back. So that's how compassion and connections are formed. And as much as here, the one thing that I normally ask my clients when I see this is they need to ask themselves, are they enabling this person or are they empowering them? By enabling them, it means that you're keeping them in a state of victimhood in the sense that they'll never be able to save themselves. They'll never be able to rescue themselves because you're always there to save them. So you put them in the role of being a victim for the rest of their life, which is not a good thing. Because each one of us has a spark of divinity inside of ourselves, okay? It doesn't mean that just because maybe you're richer in a particular aspect and the other person is not, it doesn't mean that you're better. It only means that probably the soul experiences that both of you came to have, they're, they're differing in that aspect. That maybe that soul chose the path of suffering in order to evolve and maybe you chose a different path in order to evolve spiritually and that's completely okay but each one of us has a spark of div divine intelligence within us which means that whatever i can do you can do too it doesn't make someone else special or whatever just because maybe they're richer or whatever it doesn't mean that they're more special than you if you wanted that experience for yourself, if you sat down today and decided that, hey, I want to be a billionaire and that's going to be the best way I experience myself in this lifetime, that's actually possible for you. But we are designed differently and that's why each of us has different needs and desires because we're here to experience ourselves in very different ways and that's completely okay. So when you're constantly helping this person, enabling this person and keeping them in their state of victimhood you're essentially saying that i do not see the divinity in you 
that you're lesser than me you're a lesser being than me and you need to be saved you need to be constantly you know guided and all that and that's not a good thing you're actually doing a disservice to this person as well as to yourself which again you're allowing them to draw on your energy and this energy that they're drawing away from you you actually need it to create the kind of experience you want and you know what normally happens for most um, people in this kind of situations where they don't set the healthy boundaries they're going to end up being depleted at the end of it all they'll find themselves having no energy to help even themselves and in which case now both of you will be drowning and there won't be anyone to save any of you because you'll both be stuck and that's not a situation that you want for yourself okay so that's an aspect of the compassion and connections the other way that compassion is a danger to your particular soul blueprint is that and by the way i have done a couple of videos talking about the akashic records and basically soul relevant which is the work that i do and a couple of videos on that that have really gone deeply to help you understand your soul and how it was designed and all that i'm gonna be leaving a link to that at the end of this video but in that in one of those videos, I share that there are two types of souls in existence. So there are souls you call positive and there are souls you call negative. So by positive souls, I mean you still have a connection to God or source in that you're receiving the vital force energy that you normally use to animate your physical being from God. Part of it and maybe part of it from other people, but there's still that connection with God. When it comes to negative souls, they've lost that connection with God or maybe they were created to not actually receive that connection from the vital force energy from God. So in order to exist, they need to get the energy from other souls, other people. Okay, so those are the people we call negative souls. And usually the ways they go about this, it's usually not any kind of positive oriented way you'll find that this negative souls, they will actually, they actually can design very interesting ways to get your energy. They'll constantly be creating drama in your life, you know, making you tap into feelings of guilt or shame because that's basically how some people normally have compassion towards others. They'll feel so guilty that, ooh, look at me, I'm so rich, I'm so blessed. I feel so guilty because I'm looking at that person and they're struggling. Let me go and help them. And by doing that, the negative soul is actually catching your energy. Now, it's po impossible to tell who's a negative soul or not because actually um, one of my teachers says that the only way to tell if a soul is positive or negative oriented is only by accessing the Akashic Records. Because when you look at the physical plane, a lot of us have actually made so many negative choices that we've actually forgotten that we were designed to be positive originally. So it's impossible to tell. You might find a positive soul who's masquerading as a negative soul and sometimes a negative soul who's masquerading as a positive soul. And I've actually come across some of them who are in the spiritual community because this is like the spiritual community is a very rich source of energy and they find ways of implanting themselves in to draw on you know the spiritual people's energy because it's very easy actually you know and it's impossible to tell if you're not designing if you're not connected to your inner guidance because your soul will always warn you in case there's danger outside so if you don't have that inner connection to know that a certain person is not good for you you'll never know and you'll constantly be assisting this person um, giving them advice, giving them financial assistance or whatever it is, any kind of help you're thinking of. But you're not realizing by doing that, you're still, you're basically just giving your energy away to this person. But in case you're stuck in that situation, I'd tell you that you are in power, you are in control and you do have the ability to say no. You see, the reason why the souls exist, and this is something that I've questioned over and over again, because it doesn't make sense. Why will they be there? But there's always a polarity to how the universe works, you know. How on earth will you know that this is light if the darkness is not there to compare it to? How will you know that a particular situation is loving if there's no um, hateful situation to compare it to? You know, so the purpose of 
that's negative soul is basically to help us tap into discovering ourselves our true essence to build certain qualities that we need as souls to continue existing they build our resilience they build our strength they help us build our strength our resilience our wisdom through the experiences we have with them so they are still necessary but if at any point you decide that i do not want to learn this lesson in this particular way you have the power to say no and you might sit there and think right which is something that i've also done where do these souls then go if they're not getting the energy from me because again this soul could be someone in your family a very close friend of yours and of course you don't want to see them struggle because you do have compassion which is a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing but what i've come to realize with negative souls the minute you set your boundaries and they are aware that i'm not always going to rescue you i'm not always going to be there to save you they find other people to tap into their they'll, they'll find other people to get their energy from so it doesn't have to be you you're still in control unless now you're choosing to be such a giving person and give your energy away and of course if you do choose that it means that the energy that you do need to create the kind of human experience you want the energy that you do need to manifest the desires the wants that you have you won't have it because you've actually given your energy away so those are the two ways that compassion can actually affect your particular soul soul blueprint so if you resonate with this if you have questions about this if you have any comment about this i'm curious to know what you think about the previous that last video and this video that i've done so do comment down below and share your insights share your questions i'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability and if you do like the kind of content i do share out do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you might be getting alerts each and every time i share out a post and as always how can i help you actually remember who you are how can i actually help you awaken your true soul potential how can i help you identify any kind of these souls who are still around you who are drawing energy from you if you do want help with that i do work with the akashic records my modality is called soul realignment work you can check out the link down below to learn more and i also do work with the nervous system i can help you rewire your nervous system with the powerful powerful method called quantum flow methodology which is actually helping you to change the vibration of your physical being which impacts everything around you so if maybe you're noticing that the situations and the people that you're attracting don't really match your highest good some of it is actually connected to your nervous system you know all the stuff crystallized energy in your nervous system that's not allowing energy to flow freely that's putting out the wrong vibration into the universe because it's still attached to your past self so if you do want help with actually tapping into the highest state of being physically emotionally energetically spiritually there's so many ways if you do want that do check out the quantum flow link down below where you can actually book a session with me for now i want to send you so much love and i do hope i'll see you on the next video bye for now